my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm sure you guys have already read the title. I took a solid week off from the gym and I also recorded everything I ate during that week off. And the reason I did this video is because your girl, you know, fun little facts about your girl, is she used to suffer from many eating disorders, one of them being exercise bulimia. I would restrict myself. I wouldn't allow myself to eat unless I exercised and whenever I did eat or like went over my calories because I used to obsessively track my calories, I would make sure to work extra hard at the gym. I used to work out for sometimes like five hours a day, five to six hours a day, which is insane now that I think about it. But I'm pretty sure that at least one of you watching this video is struggling with something like that. Maybe not as extreme, but maybe having the same mindset that you can only eat if you exercise and I am here to tell you that that is definitely not the case. Food is not optional. It is not optional. Food is mandatory, food is necessary, and food is amazing. We love food and it does so many good things for you. And I don't want this video to sound like I am hating on exercise. I love exercising. I don't want it to sound like I'm discouraging anyone from exercising. I recommend exercising. I think exercising is amazing for you, but when it becomes unhealthy is when you feel like you need to exercise to be able to eat. That is the problem. So this video is already pretty long. I don't want this intro to be any longer than it has to be. You guys get the gist of it. I took a week off from the gym, showed you everything I ate, and yeah, didn't restrict myself, still ate plenty of food because food is great. 10 out of 10 would recommend food. <laughs> so if you guys are done enjoying this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. But of course, if you absolutely hated it, which I would not blame you for, you can give it a thumbs down, that's okay too. And subscribe for more content to bring your certified damsel in distress. And let's just get on to the video. Day one of this little experiment, not really an experiment. I have plenty of times, I have plenty of weeks where I don't go to the gym at all, but I think this is the first time in a while at least where I'm telling myself like, okay, no gym today. Usually I just do it unconsciously. So I will unknowingly take a week off of the gym. But for this video, I figured it might be helpful to someone out there, I'm not sure, maybe everyone thinks this is stupid but maybe this could be helpful to someone out there that is struggling like i used to which is feeling the need like i have to exercise the first thing i'm having today and something i will probably have every day is my tea which is just my oatmeal cookie creamer hoya drink and then this hot cinnamon sunset tea i love this tea so much oh my gosh and i basically put the creamer and stuff in the mug first and then i let the tea bag soak in it for a little bit while i boil the water and then once the water is boiling, I add that to the tea, let it steep. I don't know if this actually does anything. I got the idea from Michelle Fawn, and she's the queen, so I do what she says. In the background, I have a trash taste podcast. I have to edit a video today. Um, I should have already started because I plan on streaming in a few hours, and editing videos takes a very long time. But I figured since I'm not going to the gym tomorrow, I will have a lot of extra time in the morning. So if I don't get it finished today, it'll be okay, because I will finish it tomorrow morning and have it uploaded by tomorrow. Yes. That is what I'm going to put into the universe. I'm not really hungry, but I'm gonna have a few bites of one of these vegan croissants from Whole Foods. I think these are new, but they are so freaking good. The great thing about living alone is I can eat half of one of these and no one cares. It's just me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do more natural makeup looks, but I feel like I look weird. I don't know. Like I am either all of the makeup is on or I'm not wearing any makeup and I'm trying to find this balance. I feel like I just look weird. I don't know. <laughs> I'm curious to see how my appetite is going to be for this week because I, I don't really track my food intake or my appetite or anything like that. Like I don't, I really just don't care. <laughs> I'm very chill with food, which I never thought I would be, but I'm very chill with like my food intake. Now that I'm consciously filming this, 
and stuff I wonder if I will think more about food during this time I don't know like I don't know if my appetite is lower or higher when I don't go to the gym because I don't keep that in mind I don't think I'm really gonna like track calories or anything like that for this video or have a certain calorie goal because I just think you should eat when you're hungry so that's what I'm gonna do I don't know if this yogurt got a new formula recently but it's so watery I mean it's fine I don't remember it being this watery I'm almost out of protein powder how will I survive I'm just gonna it's apple season. I forgot the Kamu puffs. That's what I'm missing. Ta-da. Sometimes when I'm just walking and I'm just, you know, so for lunch, I decided to have some kimchi jjigae or kimchi stew. I've shown this recipe a few times before, but I'll quickly walk you through it. I start off with some sesame oil and I add a chopped onion along with some minced garlic. I let that cook for a little bit and then I like to use canned kimchi because it's usually very fermented, which is what you want with stews. So I added that as well as some shiitake mushrooms, once again letting it cook for a few minutes. Afterwards, I pour in a good amount of water. I think I used around two cups here. I then added some Korean red pepper flakes and some gochujang, and I should have added some soy sauce, but I guess I forgot this day. <laughs> I brought all of that to a boil and then brought it down to let it simmer for anywhere around 30 minutes to an hour. And then for my own little addition to it, I added some vegetable dumplings and some dok, which means rice cakes. These are usually used for like bokboki and such. I once again cooked that for a few minutes, not too long because I didn't want the rice cakes to get like a weird texture and that was it i served myself a good portion but i actually ended up eating the entire pot <laughs> okay it's only like 3 30 but i'm gonna pre-make my dinner now because i want to stream later and then when i'm streaming i'm not gonna have any time to make food because i'm streaming at 5 p.m so i'm gonna make my dinner now i'm gonna make some roasted vegetables i'm roasting up some broccoli i have like a little bit of zucchini left i'm just gonna use that up and some bell peppers and then i'm gonna season it with some salt some pepper some garlic powder italiano seasoning <laughs> really it's getting in my nose then i'm also gonna add some cajun seasoning I'm going to pan fry a sausage. This is a sausage I'm gonna be using. It's this green chili cheddar sausage by Sweet Earth. And then I'm gonna have some roasted potatoes in the air fryer. Once all the vegetables are done, as well as the potatoes, I put it all on the same sheet along with the sausage that I cut up. And then I put everything on the same sheet and I take my balsamic glaze. I talk about this all the time, but balsamic glaze will make your vegetables taste a million times better. It's so good. It's like the perfect amount of sweetness. I love it. And then I just drizzle some on everything. So I'm actually not gonna eat this for another like two hours or something, but like I said, I just wanted to make this so that I don't have to be cooking while I'm streaming. And then I'm also not tempted to like order out or anything. Not that there's anything wrong with ordering out, but your girl has been spending too much money. But when I do eat this, I'm gonna eat it with my favorite Cedar's garlic hummus. And I just kind of eat it on the side. Basically what I like to do is I take a fork, pick up whatever I'm gonna eat, dip it in the hummus, and then eat it one by one. Good morning. Another day, another tea. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'm having bibimbap for like a breakfast lunch type of thing. I ate a croissant and I had my tea and then I had a mental breakdown. So here we are. It's like 1 p.m. <laughs> it's been a rough day, but I'm still gonna eat. I'm not hungry, but it's because of the anxiety. And I know if the anxiety wasn't there, I'd probably be hungry. So I'm gonna eat something. I was really craving a bibimbap, so that's what I'm gonna have. That's gonna be my brunch, I guess, cause it's like 1 p.m. <laughs> I think some food will make my day better. Hello. I just did my makeup because I do plan on streaming later today. I'm still not feeling too hot. <laughs> it was just a mentally rough day. So I'm gonna make myself a peanut butter and jelly because I think that'll pick me up. My body feels really tight, probably because I didn't work out or stretch or do anything remotely active except cry. <laughs> so I think tomorrow I am gonna try to stretch and maybe I'll go on a walk. I'm excited. I'm gonna watch 
Haikyuu with my friends in a little bit. I'm just waiting on them. Gonna watch the new episode of Haikyuu. I'm excited. And then I'm gonna stream and play some Among Us with some Discord friends. So I think this bad day will start looking up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make my dinner probably before I start stream. So then I just have it ready. If I don't make a dinner, I'll end up just eating chips, which is not substantial. I, I, would, I admit, I admit it happens sometimes, but I always feel better when I have an actual meal. There's my PB&J. Now I'm gonna eat while I watch Haikyuu. I hope you're all having a good day. Good morning. It is super gloomy outside, which is like my favorite weather, but it's currently 8, 12 a.m. So I slept in and I ended up waking up at around 7.30, which is very late for me. Not going to the gym for this video purpose feels very weird compared to the other times that I don't go to the gym because usually when I ended up taking like a week off from the gym, not planned or anything, it was because I was busy. Usually it was because of school. I had a lot of schoolwork to do, a lot of projects to do. Now I have like all this time in the world and it feels weird because I just have these empty few hours that the gym would usually take up because I would wake up, I would get myself ready, go to the gym, come back, take a shower, get myself ready, and now all of that is just like whoosh. So it does feel a little, little weird, but oh my, I'm getting a lot more sleep because for the longest time I really struggled with only getting about six hours of sleep. I would get like five to six hours of sleep and I just dealt with that. I didn't know why I wasn't able to be one of those people that could sleep eight hours, but today I kind of slept for eight hours. So that felt pretty nice. I do feel a bit bloated. I do feel a little bit puffier just because I'm not like sweating it out and all those things. And of course, exercising does help with like digestion and all that stuff. But yeah, that's just normal, it's fine. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I don't want this video to be seen as like me promoting not exercising. I think you should most definitely exercise. I think exercising is great, it is very good for you. I think it's just important to find the type of exercise that you enjoy as opposed to exercising the way you think you should be exercising and the goal being weight loss as opposed to, I mean like I don't wanna hate anyone. Like if you wanna exercise for weight loss, you do you boo. I find that substantial exercise came from wanting to exercise like I want to exercise that's why this week where I'm forcing myself to not go to the gym despite having the time to exercise it is a little difficult because exercising for me was like my me time it was like really good for my mental health and it helped with like digestion and it was like part of my routine I'm not doing this video to say exercising is bad I'm doing this video because I was someone that would not eat unless I exercised. And that's where the problem is. Or sometimes you'll eat something and you're like, well, I have to work it off. You know, you have to exercise it off, burn those calories. And you always see those charts where it's like one Oreo equals 20 jumping jacks. That's not right, but you know what I mean. So the goal of this video isn't to say don't exercise. The goal of this video is to show you can still eat. You, like you don't have to exercise to eat. And taking time off from the gym is okay. It is 1000% okay. That's the team. <laughs> yeah. So I guess I think a good topic would be eight months. It's crazy. Really? I forget that I was living in Japan. Fast eight months. For my actual breakfast, I had some oatmeal and I've shown how to make my oatmeal so many times. I feel like y'all are annoyed with seeing it because it's so repetitive. But for this day, I went with a classic topping combo, which was just banana and Trader Joe's raw almond butter, which is the best nut butter, by the way. I got myself some popcorn and some chips. Mm. How do I dodge those? Like what? Oh, really? 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 <laughs> do you have to get involved? Oh my God. Can you not use this power? I would like to just eat and not worry about this right now. Mm. I need to refuel. I keep feeding my characters. I need to eat. And for dinner, I had another Diana classic, I guess you could say, <laughs> which was just some noodle soup, which is one of my favorite dinners of all time. I never get sick of this dinner, honestly. It's just noodles in soup, <laughs> duh, with some pan fried tofu and some vegetables. I season mine with salt, pepper, and soy sauce. And for dessert, I had some of this oatmeal cookie ice cream, which is becoming one of my favorites as of late. I really, really like this ice cream and would highly recommend it if you haven't tried it out. 
Good morning. Compared to yesterday, I was talking about how I felt like really bloated and like I didn't feel like I was digesting well. I feel really good today. I'm pretty energized. I think my sleep has improved, but it's been a long time. It's probably been a few years since I've really intentionally taken a week off from the gym. So this is the first time I'm like tracking how I actually feel because I've usually done it very subconsciously and it just kind of happened. So yeah, this is, this is a fun little experiment for me. I'm enjoying myself. I'm gonna go for a walk. And I'm gonna listen to a podcast or something like that. Look at me. Look at me go. Oh, oh it's pure like that. Uh, yeah, that was my corner. I was like, I don't give a shit about that guy. Yeah. Taking off the hunting screen. Yeah, I don't. Just like, oh, oh, for my breakfast after pre-breakfast, I had a Dave's Killer Everything Bagel with some Kite Hill Chive Cream Cheese. I've really been missing New York bagels lately. I'm not sure what brought on this withdrawal. Damn, I miss them so much. I sprinkled some everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's on top of that. And then I had some sliced strawberries on the side. I'm making lunch right now. You can hear the air fryer in the background. I'm sorry. And I'm making a BLT. Well, not lettuce. It's gonna be spinach. Cheese and hummus. And then I'm having some fries on the side. You know, I actually think my appetite is like pretty strong considering I haven't been working out. I mean, to be fair, my period is supposed to be happening this week. So that might have something to do with it. I don't know. But my appetite is pretty good. So I'm happy about that. Sweet earth bacon. And then I'm gonna put a slice of cheese and put it back in the toaster oven for a little bit so it gets a little melted. It's just like small tomatoes. Tomato. I don't know why I'm always cutting sandwiches with a butter knife. That looks pretty good, if I do say so myself. I think that looks pretty good. And then I have a little cupcake holder. So I bought a bunch of these when I made cupcakes. I've been using them for my ketchup, which I think is very innovative of me. That looks like a good lunch. I mean, I feel like the ketchup holder makes it look a little weird. Ooh, but that looks good. That looks so good. I made that. Look at me go. I can honestly just have fries for a meal. Is that just me? Zombie, uh, Monster High Girl. That's what it is, Monster High. <laughs> monster High, Monster High, Monster High. Wait, look at him. I just have, I'm so random. <laughs> You're so quirky. <laughs> <laughs> Fairy tale dress. What does this look like? Ooh, it's red. I think it clashes a bit. Flower print dress? Cute. Let me see. <laughs> oh, I love that! <laughs> I, look like, I look like a watermelon. Watermelon sugar. Watermelon sugar. Hi. Do you still like this one the most? I love the pink flowers. Yes! <laughs> I love it. I've been heating my croissants up in the microwave. Mm. I was very productive today. I woke up, cleaned my apartment, I went to the grocery store because I had to pick up some things for an upcoming video. And yeah, I've had a pretty, pretty productive morning. And then I'm gonna be streaming later. I'm gonna be streaming some Among Us with my Discord. My appetite is a lot better than I thought it would be. I have food. I got these vegetable rolls. Vegetables and fried tofu with rice in a garlic sauce. having a bagel again. I've been like craving bagels, bagels with cream cheese. I miss New York bagels. New York bagels are the best bagels by far. Not to be a New York snob, but they are the best. So I'm having a bagel, a sliced apple. I just wanna have something light because I have therapy soon. And then I'm gonna stream again today. I think I have a long stream because I'm gonna play Among Us with some friends from my Discord again at like 3 p.m. And then I'm going to probably, I'm thinking about maybe like playing a horror game. It depends how long we end up playing. I might play Danganronpa. But yeah, then after Among Us, I'm gonna play something on my own. And then I think 
think I have another Among Us lobby later tonight. So it's gonna be a very long stream today. And there is my breakfast. I am about to start streaming. I just made myself a lunch that would be pretty easy to eat on stream. I'm gonna do like a mukbang stream. And I have a bibimbap here. I've shown you guys how I make it. Hmm. For dinner, I had some baked ziti with tofu ricotta while streaming. If you're watching the stream, you actually would have seen me make this. But yeah, I just had that with some leftover vegetables from that Thai place that I ordered takeout from the night before. And my dessert was actually decided by two people watching my stream. Shout out to you both because this was amazing. It was that oatmeal cookie ice cream and two crumbled speculoos cookies on top. And it was 10 out of 10. Okay, so it's my last day doing this little challenge, if you wanna call it that. And I'm having a yogurt bowl. This is like a late breakfast because I woke up late, I got ready. I'm gonna be streaming in like 30 minutes, so I just made something quick. I have this granola. This is cashew coconut granola. That's just the rest of it. It's kind of crummy, but that's okay. This video is gonna be up after Thanksgiving, but I hope you all had a very fun Thanksgiving, if you celebrate it, of course. So here is my breakfast. Doesn't look too appetizing, honestly. Hmm. I haven't really had oatmeal this week. Who am I? Okay, this video is getting too long. I'm so sorry. So speed run. For lunch, I had leftover baked ziti. For dinner, I had my noodle soup with the tofu and assorted vegetables once again. And for dessert, I had some frozen grapes, which make such a cool sound. Oh my God. And that was everything I had that day. You guys can see by the before and the after results. I personally do not own a scale. I threw out my scales a little while ago. I don't own any like measuring tape or anything like that because I really have no use for that stuff. I don't care about that stuff. But I think you can kind of see like visually, my body didn't change a lot. I actually think I might have lost a little bit of weight, at least like some water weights because my body was probably under less stress taking a week off. But all in all, there's not much of a difference because taking a week off from the gym isn't gonna create that much of a difference. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if this video was helpful to anyone, but if it's helpful to at least one person, just one, just one, then that makes me happy. And that's all I really wanted to achieve with this video. So if one person, if this helps one person, then I achieved my goal. <laughs> but that is going to conclude this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, once again, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. But like I said earlier, if you absolutely hated it, then you can give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. Comment anything else you'd like to see on my channel and subscribe for more content by yours truly and before you go if you haven't already heard it today you are amazing you are beautiful you're wonderful you are so valid and i am so so happy that you are alive i love you so so much and i hope to see you in the next video